So a man's asking the route I went down to become a qualified electrician. So I went to school like everyone, got my five A star to C GCSEs, went to college, started level two, completed that, started level three, halfway through level three, man dropped out of college, stopped going, actually went to prison. Don't follow any of those steps. Don't drop out of college and don't go to jail. I came out of prison, got an apprenticeship with my neighbouring borough's council. So man's from Edmonton, which is the borough of Enfield. And next door is Tottenham and their borough is Haringey. Got an apprenticeship with Homes of Haringey. And yeah, continued my level three, completed the last two exams, then done the advanced apprenticeship level. I'm not too sure why I had to do that. And then I done inspection and testing. Now, obviously, to become a fully qualified electrician, you don't need to do inspection and testing now. But I just did it because I wanted to. So yeah, that's man's route. Now, obviously, I'm sure because there's two parts to this comment. I'm sure a man said that he's 24 and he wants to get into it. Even if you don't have any GCSEs, yeah. Even if you have zero GCSEs, yeah. You didn't even do GCSEs. You can still start the course at level one. Now, obviously, you don't get to start at level two. So you have to work a little bit harder and longer, but you still get the opportunity to start at level one. So then you do your level one, you do your level two, you do your level three. You probably won't need to do the advanced apprenticeship. I don't know why they made me do that, but I had to do extra level. I think it was only like extra six months in that MVQ portfolio building as well, innit? So yeah, man just done extra six months in that. But that's the route you can go down. But the main reason why I'm making this video is to show you and let you know that basically... Go on to YouTube, type in JYS TV, type in the word apprenticeships. So JYS TV apprenticeships. There's a video, uh, the thumbnail is with me standing outside the sign that says Broadwater Farm. See, I'm the original OFB yeah? uh, when I was 19. So I stand outside uh, the sign that says Broadwater Farm. Welcome to Broadwater Farm or whatever, innit? Yeah, that's the thumbnail and that, innit? And the title of the video is X Road Man's Advice or Guide on How to Find an Apprenticeship Step by Step. I give a clear, concise, step by step guide on how to find an apprenticeship and that. And I give you alternatives because at the end of the day, there could be 10 apprenticeship jobs going, 10 apprenticeship opportunities going, but there's going to be 100,000 men applying for those apprenticeships. So if there's 10 apprenticeships going and 100 men apply for it, well, 90 men are going to get rejected. What the hell do they do? Whilst they're, whilst they're studying to become an electrician and looking for apprenticeship and that. They can't just throw in the towel. I know man, yeah, man that is qualified electricians who they became qualified and that, but they couldn't get any experience and that. So they end up fucking laying laminate floor and do lorry driving and that. So what did the other 90 man do that don't get the apprenticeship? They have to go and work on construction site as electrical mate and build up their MVQ portfolio that way. So um, go and watch that video, type in on YouTube, JYS TV Apprenticeships, and there's going to be a thumbnail with me standing behind the Broadwater Farm sign and that. And I knew when I was taking that picture, man took that picture when I was like 20 or 21 or something, innit? Um, I knew that picture would come in handy one day, and, and, it, and it did. So go check out that video. It's a clear and concise step-by-step -step guide on how to find an apprenticeship and that. And like I said, I'll give you the, obviously the easy alternative how to find an apprenticeship going on to certain websites, um, asking your colleges if there's any opportunities going and that. And if that don't work, then you can go and work on a construction site. I even give a, leave a list of numbers that you can phone up to sign up to the agency so that you can work as an electrical mate. Now, in order to work as an electrical mate on a construction site, you need to get, um, you need to do like your ECS, um, like health and safety and whatnot, or whatever. Innit? It's all there, all the information is there. Was, I can't remember everything off the top of my head, but... It's all there. So um, that's that's your alternative, right? If you can't get an apprenticeship, unfortunately. So, um, yeah. So done the level two for me. So what I've done is I've done level two, done level three, done the extra six months or whatever, advanced apprenticeship. Then when I finished that, I was thinking to do the level four. I think it's called design verification or something like that. I wanted to be an electrical designer and that. I was going to do level four. When I phoned up to enroll for the level four course, thinking that you just go from level three to level four, right? Yeah. They said, no, you can't do the level four. You have to do the inspection and testing first. So I said, all right, then cool. 
So done it. So started doing the inspection and testing. Eventually passed that. Then I thought, whilst I was doing the inspection and testing, I thought, what's the point of doing a level four in design? Let me just go to uni and do electronic engineering. So I didn't go to uni like that, man. I didn't stay on campus and all of that nonsense and that. But man was going to uni on a Saturday and then, yeah, um, studied electronic engineering, HNC. So that's what I've got. I've got a foundation degree in electronic engineering. Never used it, but hey, I started a vending machine business whilst I was there. So it was a good thing still. Um, but yeah, so if you've got zero, and anyone watches right now, if you've got zero GCSEs, you can still start the electrical course. Yeah, don't think that you need to have GCSEs. Now, anyone who's 16 years old or 15 years old thinking about becoming an electrician, that don't mean, yeah, you should mess about and mess about and don't do your GCSEs and that and drop out of college and fuck up and that. No, don't go down that route. Yeah, there's certain routes I've mentioned in this video, don't go down and that, and that's dropping out of college and going to prison and that, and fucking up your GCSEs and that. Still do the best you can in your GCSEs. But if unfortunately you come out with zero GCSEs and that, you can still one day start the course with zero GCSEs. So that's that's the route I went down. Yeah.